A synonym for innovation can be transformation. It was for Casa View Christian Church of Dallas, Texas, and senior pastor Jamie Harvey. I was so sick of watching the church love their buildings and their worship styles and what used to be more than bringing the love and the power of God to the community around it. And so I honestly thought that my time in pastoral ministry was over. But in 2016, Casa View Christian decided to become a missional church, innovating not only how it used its holy place, but re-envisioning its reason for being. The result has been transforming for both the church and its community. The congregation launched a free children's closet, which provides new clothes, school supplies, and Christmas presents to local youth. Through its Community Meals mission, several thousand free meals have been served. And free community events, the church's largest mission provides access to important services and resources several times a year, benefiting thousands. But the innovation goes beyond these initiatives to also include worship. Every few weeks, artist Matt Alford creates artwork while Pastor Harvey delivers the message. We're focused on building the, the church of the 21st century. I think we're focused on we have to reach people where they are today. And to reach people where they are, you need to be able to serve and to meet the needs of the community. Innovation in the use of its holy place is a hallmark of Triumphant Temple of Praise Christian Church, a thriving congregation in Flint, Michigan, that grew from 12 members to its current average worship attendance of more than 65 in just 10 years. As a result, Triumphant Temple outgrew its original building, which now serves as the congregation's child daycare center. With the help of the Michigan Region and Disciples Church Extension Fund, they purchased a nearby bingo hall to serve as worship space, as well as home base for several outreach ministries, including a senior gym and a senior care facility currently in development. Reverend Dr. Frank Gilliard and his leadership team knew there were vulnerable community members who were not only affected by Flint's economic depression and ongoing water crisis, but also by the lack of services addressing the problems of the elderly. For this reason, the ministry set out to help seniors stay mobile, active, and fit through exercise and strength training with yoga, nutrition, and preventive care programs also being offered. We plan to partner with the region, DCEF, and local social service agencies to get volunteers involved, says Pastor Gilliard. We're focused on the people who trust us with their souls. Sometimes, the innovative use of Holy Place involves clearly seeing a need and expanding your mission to match your vision. When Reverend Dr. William J. Barber II joined Greenleaf Christian Church of Goldsboro, North Carolina, he saw an area that was economically depressed. So, he asked his congregation, what can we do about this? Eventually, they found their answer in, of all places, an abandoned grocery store and restaurant. With plans to turn it into a ministry, they contacted Disciples Church Extension Fund for a property purchase loan, not to build or remodel a church, but to fund a mission beyond church walls. That ministry is now a community development hub. In 2002, the Greenleaf Vision of Faith Community Center opened, home to a nonprofit that offers poverty alleviation programs, including Christian Academy and Child Care Center, Project Yes Academy, a STEM-focused after-school program, and Faith Estates, housing lots for first-time homebuyers. The city of Goldsboro noticed and awarded Greenleaf a $250,000 renovations grant and the National Benevolent Association partnered with the church to build Greenleaf Grace Village, which provides affordable apartments for seniors. Through this effort, we are changing lives, says Dr. Barber, and we see the love of Christ at work. Congregations making innovative use of their holy places can have a real impact on their communities and the world. Consider First Christian Church of Glendale, Arizona. In 2017, the congregation ended its worship ministry, leaving a three-acre campus to the Christian Church Disciples of Christ in Arizona, and asking that the region promote an outreach center at this location. Disciples Church Extension Fund, DCEF, is helping to honor this request. There, the ministry is partnering with the Arizona region to repurpose the campus. DCEF conducted the facilities evaluation and now provides administrative oversight and management services to the new Glendale Mission and Ministry Center, which cares for the needy, offers meeting space to not-for-profits, houses a Head Start program, and serves as worship space for three nesting congregations. 
The Center provides ministry to those who live with disabilities and experience food and job insecurity, homelessness, and poverty. We're happy to have found so many ways to meet our community's needs, says Program Director Kay Ganasios. That's what Mission is all about, and we're very committed to ours, as the successor of First Christian Church of Glendale, to do God's work by caring for His people. Innovative use of Holy Place often requires, and inspires, congregational courage and individual compassion. Take, for example, Iglesia Misión La Roca, located in the South Dallas neighborhood of Cedar Crest, home to more than 15,000 Hispanic people. The neighborhood ranks first in crime, poverty, and domestic violence in the state of Texas. Yet that did not deter founding pastor Daniel Guzman from planting his new congregation there. To do so, he approached disciples men of the Southwest region, whose ministry involves building homes for people and churches in need. Inspired by Pastor Dan's resolve to improve the lives of his neighbors, they agreed to lend their support. Over the next 12 months, the church raised enough money to purchase land, qualified for a construction loan, and received the first ever Holy Place grant from Disciples Church Extension Fund. Now after worship, members of Iglesia Misión La Roca don their boots and gloves to clean up their community. They also volunteer at nearby schools and work with the Neighborhood Watch Association, which has returned to the area after nearly 30 years. The church believes it's being called to serve as the primary Hispanic place of worship in Cedar Crest. And through courage and compassion, it's living into that calling.